Morning guys. I'm real tired, but we're going to talk about something pretty cool because we're going to talk about the Ferrum Forge Knifeworks Pro Series Prolix. So this is a fun little knife. If you're watching on headphones, turn down the volume because here comes the music. Before I get into this knife, I want to definitely give a big shout out to a guy named Jimmy. Uh, you know who you are. I think it's jo Jojo or Jimmy, Jimmy Jeep, something like that. I can't remember the actual handle. I've been talking to him via email. He sent me an S90V blade for my Benchmade 940 and I couldn't be happier. I'm much happier with an S90V than an S30V blade. So big shout out to him. So what are we talking about? We are talking about the Ferrum Forge Pro, I don't think they even have it listed on here. Ferrum Forge Knife Works, ferrumforge.com. This is their in-house in production versions of some knives. But this is their Prolix, which is one of the newer ones that has come out. I just have not done a video about it because, well, I didn't, you know, I had a lot of stuff in and I just didn't really get a chance to do much carry of this one. So I've been carrying this one for a few days. Um... I'm I'm a fan of the knife. It does have, you know, a couple... Actually, it has one minor thing that I just don't like. Uh, but we'll get into that when we do the tabletop review. But these are these are a great little knife. They're offering them on their website. They're available at, at different vendors, uh, Blade HQ, Knife Center, places like that. So without too much further palavering, let's go ahead and turn this around and we'll look down at it from the top and we'll look at some, some high points and some really cool things and do some comparisons, get some weights and some specs. So see you guys down at the counter. All right guys, now that we've got it down where I can get in close on this, let's take a quick look at the knife and then we will begin to go through the specs. So this is one of Elliot's newer designs. It's based on an older design. It's really, well, it's not based on it. It's really similar to the Master Blaster. And it's, it's, it's a this is a really good knife. Nice Warren Cliff blade, good action, but we'll get into that. Give me just a second. Someone just showed up at my door. Sorry about that, guys. Like I said, you can see pretty nice clean knife, really nice blade to handle ratio, but let's get into some specs. So what do we got here? We are looking at a overall length of 6.5 inches, blade length of 2.87 inches, blade thickness, is I've started this adding this in because I know a lot of guys wonder about the blade thickness on stuff because it does affect cutting. So this is a 0 0.12 inch thick blade done in Nitro V. Now I still don't have I still don't have batteries for the scale. I just haven't got any. Uh, they're saying this comes in at 2.74 ounces, and this was made by We Knife Company for Elliot for distribution. So he had it OEM'd by We Knife Company. So let's go ahead and take a good look at it. So this does come, yeah, I keep bumping this tripod. This does come in three different colors, G10. So what you got is a G10 liner lock, Nitro V blade, done in a Warren Cliff style. It's nice and thin behind the edge. Uh, this comes in a black, a tan, and a green, which is just your typical G10 colors that you'd be seeing. G10 backspacer, deep carry, deep style, deep carry style pocket clip for you guys that like that. I'm not a big fan. The pivot is in, uh, emblazoned with their logo. Now, there, when you take this apart, and I've taken a couple of these knives apart, there's uh, some some things you gotta know. This These screws only hold the scale on, and then there's actual assembly screws that hold the backspacer and, and liners together. So don't be surprised by that. Single-sided pivot, but it is keyed, so it's easy to get in and out. The Warncliffe blade has got a bit of a belly sweep to it, so it's not completely straight, but it does have a little bit of a sweep. I have not sharpened this. This is, uh, this is not, this was not a prototype. This was not something Elliot gave me. I borrowed this in box. This is still going to be able to be done as production and sent out if he, if he wants it back. If not, I'll talk to him. This, this could be a giveaway if he wants to uh, do it that way. So 
Um, action on this, really smooth, just like I'd expect from Wee Knife Company. Uh, flipper tab is not not really super uh, prominent, but it it fires really, really well. You've got the finger aperture, so you can finger flick it. And this is a really nice, small-ish knife. It's not tiny, but it's also not, it's in that middle range between what could be too small and what some people might think is too big for carry. So um, I, I've not had too many knives in Nitro V. I've been pretty impressed with the, a couple of the knives that Elliot's done in Nitro V that I've carried the prototypes of. Uh, it seems to hold up pretty well, but they're not like super expensive because of the materials that are in it. And so this is just a, just a good all around work knife. So jimping on this, jimping on this is, it's just, just about right. It's just about right. It's not too sharp. It's not too uh, slippery. This is what um, the production sea snakes jimping looks a lot like. Uh, the, my knives, uh, the prototypes were a bit smooth. This is what the production ones are like, and it, it is grippy, and it's got just about the right amount of bite. Even better if you were wearing gloves. You've got, uh, you know, they, they've raised your, or lowered the one side of the scale so that you've got access to your to your lock bar. And the liner lock, I'm like I said, a lot of times I'm not a fan of liner locks, but I am seeing a lot of better liner locks these days. These liner locks that I'm seeing these days have got better lock up. They're not, they're not the thinner material. It's a lot thicker uh, liners on these than the knives I originally remember seeing as liner locks. So let's do a couple comparisons here. Size comparison so you can see. So the first obvious size comparison would be to its cousin, which is the Master Blaster. So you can see it's it's not it's not anywhere near as big in size, and you're going to get some some parallax because of the angle I'm at. But I'll bring it this way, and you can see. See, it's it's not a real big knife, but this this was not a small knife either. And then the uh, the usual banana for scale would be the Sabenza 21. So everybody knows the size of those. Not everybody knows a Master Blaster, but everybody knows the size of a Spencer 21 pretty much. So yeah, you can see. Just size comparison, uh, it's, you know, it's a good bit smaller. It's not a very big knife, but it is a nice little knife. Now, pretty much everything about this knife is great for me, except you guys know where I'm going. I'm not a fan of the pocket clip. Uh, and it's, it's not so much that I care about a deep carry clip. When I complain about a pocket clip, it's always how it feels in hand. And when I'm using this knife... I, I kind of can feel that pocket clip in there. I, I've told him before on a couple other models that I was not a fan of the pocket clip. Uh, but it's always going to be a pocket clip thing for me. I'm just, I wish there was another way to do it besides a pocket clip. But it is the best way, truly, to carry a pocket knife and have it easily available. All these edges contoured nicely. Uh, there's a little bit of a redacted liner. You can still see this, the metal sticking up, but it's not really prominent and it, it feels it just feels blended in really well and these have been crowned and smoothed really well you can see those liners are rounded and crowned uh it's just really comfortable in hand the i like the idea of a backspacer in knives uh, a lot of times i would prefer a larger backspacer and the reason i like backspacers is because i carry a lot of other stuff in my pocket and there's a lot of times where like i'll pull a knife out of my pocket and my keys are up in there and i'm like well now i gotta sharpen that so yeah, overall, this is a great little knife. So let's go ahead and we'll turn this around and we'll do the final, which is the price point. Because I mean, we really, there. I only saw them available a couple places and the price is pretty much standard. So let's go ahead, turn this around and we'll do some final thoughts. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Don't need my reading glasses now. Guys, I'm old enough that I have to use reading glasses to see if everything's in focus in a video. That's part of the reason that I kept complaining in the, uh, video up at Jake's place. It wasn't focus. My eyes weren't. Uh, so final thoughts on this. This is a great little knife. And the fact is this is a, a good knife and it's at a really decent price, really reasonable price. These everywhere I saw them, uh, Way of Knife and Blade HQ was the only place that I really saw them on my initial search. These are $89. So this is a really, really nice work knife 
for $89. It actually, I've taken the pocket clip clear off of it and carried it just in the uh, watch pocket. Some people call it a change pocket. I carry it in my, the, the, the top pocket, top right front. It carries really well there without a pocket clip. And I think if I had one of these, that's what I would be, that's, that's how I carry it. But I really don't need one of these because I have a master blaster and this, if I'm gonna carry a folding warning, this is gonna be the one I'm going to uh, grab out of my case. So yeah, Elliot's designs always speak to a lot of people. They're always, they're always well executed. They, he, he does really good symmetry, uh, one-to-one -one ratios. You know, this is a, this is probably one of the best blade to handle ratios I've seen for a while. That's not unsafe. A lot of times you get into those, oh, the blade to handle ratio is great. And then you can just feel the tip of that knife right there in the handle. So this, this is a really good, viable work knife. Nitro V seems to sharpen up really well. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really, I'm really glad that he's bringing some designs to the market that are it's smaller than some of the stuff he'd been doing before. Elliot's knives were historically rather large. Like I said, like that Master Blaster is not a dainty little knife. Uh, he made the Entac, that was one of his smaller knives. He had some other ones, but he's coming up with some designs now that are smaller, which I think a lot of people like. So yeah, guys, 89 bucks for Nitro V. Nice warning, good action. And if you like deep carry pocket clips, it comes with one. So that's about all I got to say, man. It's a really good knife. Guys, if you don't follow me on full30.com already, you probably should. I'm shooting exclusive content today to go up there. Uh, stuff that I can't shoot here. Um, I'm not doing giveaways, but I also am going to do some gear reviews there that I'm going to release there and then maybe bring back over to this channel. Um, so, and the other thing, I'm starting to shoot everything in 1080p instead of 4K because I don't see a real difference in the resolution here. And the fact is I can't upload 4K to full30.com. So it just makes sense for me to shoot everything in the format that I can upload to both platforms and not have to re-render each video, like, you know, like render each video twice. So guys, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't, give them a thumbs down, but try to tell me why. I'm going to try to shoot the tutorial for the reprofiling for the paying members today. So, you know, if you're not a paying member and you want to get in on that, there's a membership link below. And if you really, really do like the videos a lot, you can always go in and just drop a little bit of money that goes directly to the channel by hitting the applause tab. So guys, I love you all. Take it easy. Take care of yourselves. It's trying times right now. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.